You're scared he's about to fight you. He looks like, um, no, you throw the first hit. No, you throw the first hit. <laughs> Imagine jumping off this thing oh and, with the little um, squirrel suits. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be so stressful. Fox straight into the bushes. <laughs> I'm not going to go with you, but like, you got to start up there. Good, yeah, I'd be hanging on a tree with my hair. But Gina, <laughs> no, I thought this was a good idea. Big old tree trunk in her arm, through her arm. Through my arm? Yes. Dang. Well, I might as well just die then. Do your arm? You got pop if I'm hanging on the arm tree yeah, with tree my tree in your arm, I could break the branch off. And I'm just hanging there by you my arm. By your arm, I break that snake branch. I don't know how I feel about that. The part. fact that you want to give up in your life because tree branches in your arm, it sounds like you got a weak survival rate. Mm, that sounds very painful if you hang it by your arm. It sounds very painful to be dead. If you're dead, you're dead. How is yeah, it paying? How you know that? Oh, he was trying to get it. I guess he got marching short up here. He's been trying to get there the whole time. Go ahead, baby. Watch the come forward. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you right there, Robin. <laughs> Point is a popular visitor site in the Tumaning village of Guam. It is mainly known for the folk tale of two doom lovers. At the site, they have the folklore translated in multiple languages. 
so that visitors can read the story of which this place is built on. In ancient times, a beautiful maiden, the eldest daughter of the most powerful Chamorro chief, was ordered by her father to wed a Spanish army captain. The maiden was so young, shy, yet strong-willed. She had no intention of allowing her heart to be just given away. She had chosen her own love. He was a strong, handsome Chamorro warrior. Alas, her parents forbade their daughter from seeing her chosen one. Despair filled her heart because without the blessing of her family, they could never marry. The lovers met in secret at the water's edge, planning to flee the island by canoe. The moon's silver veil of shimmering light danced across the Tumande, anointing its surface with magic. Suddenly, Spanish soldiers appeared, ending the lovers' dream of life together. With their freedom gone, the two lovers fled. High up on the summit of the cliff, the lovers united for the last time, sharing their love to its full essence. Filling their hearts and souls, moonlight touched their beautiful faces. They were young, so perfect, their beauty unblemished. As when they tied their long, shining black hair in a single knot, now they were united, inseparable. Holding hands, they fearlessly walked to the edge of the cliff and gazed down to their destiny. The soldiers appeared, breathless, but too late. Soft moonlight caressed the lovers' journey into eternity. As they leapt to their now fate, they would be together forever. To this day, there are those who claim to have heard the whispers of the two lovers upon the waves proclaiming their undying love. Wedding Wall, September 2002. Oh my goodness. Yeah, October 2002. <laughs> I think these are old. Oh, that's the two stuff that they got left. I don't know. You think so? Unfortunately, the swing is down. We came here because we saw a few pictures of the swing. I mean, I wanted to take some couple shots um, with the swing, but it is down, out of commission. Probably fell down from one of these crazy, windy, rainy days, but it's never a bad day. It's sunny today, it's not raining. It's absolutely beautiful. Greg's taking videos of the little tiny fish over here. He's so cute. He's so he's so into it. Hi, baby. <laughs> Look at those clouds and that tiny island over there. I find out what's going on with this with this tiny little island. It looks so cool. You can literally walk all the way out there. And it still won't be higher than your hips. I don't know if you guys can see how far that is out. Like here's the shore here. And they're like all the way over there. And it's still not higher than their hips. We walk pretty far out, but not that far. We always see fishermen come out here and we always wonder what are they fishing? Cause all we see are these little tiny little minnow like fish. See this tiny fish? out here and uh, we were just out here taking pictures and walking on the beach and we were standing in the water looking at this little tiny little school of fish and a huge giant fish just like jumped into out of the water and jumped back into the water it was pretty cool because it was so big so that's what they're fishing because the <laughs> it just came out of nowhere minding our own business and then all of a sudden it just jumps out the water and splashes back into the water. I tried to get my phone out fast enough to record, but I missed it. It's like running away. It's like, no, look at me. I do not give you my permission. I do not give you my permission. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're scared he's about to fight you. Yo, <laughs> square up, bro, square up. Square up, bro. He looks like, um, no, you throw the first hit. No, you throw the first hit. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. <laughs> I 
wonder if this is like an Airbnb or something. Or like some kind of like patio area of a restaurant. It's pretty nice. They got the little chairs set up. And look at those trees. What is this? Do not pollute the ocean. Jesus. But you thought you could float on it? I don't know what you thought. You looking at your pictures that you took there? <laughs> you're so cute. Uh, you know, I try to do what I can do when I can do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>